Uh, Josh, back to Premiership action for you this weekend and uh, familiar foes in Newcastle Falcons. How much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be a good opportunity. Uh, good to see the old teammates, good to see the old coaches, you know, but mainly just there to get, get the win and hopefully form well as a team. Last week was a big boost in a lot of ways after the London Irish game. I know there was a bit of tough talking in the changing room amongst players and, and staff, but it was the ideal response last week. Yeah, I think you're going to have those games, you know, you're going to be tough away games, you know, obviously bouncing back. And it's good to get them out of the way early. You know, we reacted well. Uh, we came out in that second half flying. And, you know, it was all about the fight, really. We stuck together as a team and did what we do best. And, yeah, it came through well. I'd imagine your brains and Will Whitty's brains have been picked this week about what we can expect from the Falcons. But equally, we know what to expect. They're, they're a typical Dean Richard side. Yeah, they're, they're a great team. We've also got a few key players for them. Um, but, you know, you never know what you're going to expect in a Premiership. You know, anyone can rock up. It's a win-win league. You know, people can win. When they're not supposed to win, but you know it's a great, it's going to be a great game. And good, two good teams going at it. Uh, obviously, like I said, big opportunity for you, exposure in the Premiership, and that's what you've come here for. You want to be getting up to those highest echelons and, and playing rugby. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I kind of saw it as one of the best clubs in the in the world, really. You know, obviously with the best players as well. So training week in, week out with them, then obviously getting the opportunity to play with them, it's going to be even better. Are you settled in now? Do you feel very yeah. much at home at Chiefs? Yeah, no, it feels great. I'm loving it. I've settled in back at my house, settled in with the boys, you know, obviously come out of COVID restrictions, so we're able to do things outside the club. But it's great. Yeah, I love it. And it's quite a young mix down in that change room as well. I'd imagine that helps settle any yeah. player like yourself. Yeah, no, it's good. It's obviously a rolling in one at some points of the time, but, you know, yeah, it's a great mix. Obviously, you've got people, people in different corners, and how, but, yeah, it's good. I was going to say the hierarchy in the change room, that's interesting, I'd imagine. Uh, nah, there's not really a hierarchy, <laughs> but no, it's all good, it's all good fun. Um, when you came here, you knew you were coming to a, a top side. Where have you seen the development in your own game already? And you, you're playing premiership games now, which you haven't done yeah. prior to that. So um, basically, there's things that people probably wouldn't see as a fan. You know, it's the little things. So like when you come into the line, when you don't come into the line, the little, the little communications around, around the ball. Um, obviously, you know, you, with the likes of Stuart Hogg, you know, you're learning week in, week out off him. Even when he's not here, you can still probably watch his games and you can learn off him. So it's a win-win when he's, when he's here and when he's not here, because it's great having him here because you can just learn off him. You can probably pick him apart, but when he's not here, you also get opportunities and it just pushes you to get better. And Ali Heath, I'd imagine, has talked a lot with you about your game and, and where you can yeah. get even better. No, Ali's great. You know, he's probably knows the game better than anyone else. Um, he picks me apart. He picks everything. <laughs> well, sometimes and sometimes you don't, but you know. Uh, but yeah, he's good. Um, moving it forward to this weekend, like I said, it's the last game of the Premiership, and Rob said this morning that we're there or thereabouts, but a win this weekend will put us in a great position. Yeah, well, it's a great team. We just need to start clicking. You know, all great teams have got to click at some point, and I think this weekend is finding the time to put it into, put it into put it together because you know we had Gloucester last weekend. We put it together in the second half. And it was needed, uh, you know. It was a big turn, big turning point in our season, I think. And this weekend, we'll get to put it into practice. What have you noticed coming from even Newcastle when you're in the Championship and, and playing games there to that higher level again of playing in the Premiership? Is, is it quicker? Is it faster? Is it more physical? What is it? A bit of everything, really. You know, it's obviously a high high level rugby. The people around you are a lot better and probably expect more from you, so it, it can put that pressure on you if you're not used to it. But I think you just got to relax, you know. Players will perform when the best and get when they're relaxed and they're able to play their game. So I think when we're all doing that and we're all on all on the same page, it'll be brilliant. Relax is probably an apt word for you. I, I find you one of yeah. the most laid back guys in the yeah. group. You get out there early. You yeah. just love playing rugby by the looks of it. Yeah. I, lo I love rugby, yeah. <laughs> um, but I do like to be relaxed. Yeah. I think when you're stressed or when you're overthinking things, you just can overcoach yourself and overthink things, you know. You can never really predict a situation until it's happened. Uh, it's just about reacting to it and getting on with the game and obviously looking for positives and, and putting the negatives behind you if they happen. You talked about playing in COVID times with empty stadiums. Fans are back now. How much are you looking forward to playing in front oh, of big crowds at Sandy Park? It's great. I had a, I had a glimpse of it at the start of the season, um, but hopefully we get a big crowd here this weekend and we can put on a good performance for them. But mainly doing it for ourselves. You know, we, We're a team that want to be fighting, but when we're fighting, we're doing it for the fans as well. So it's good.